This is the new Oris Big Crown 473 from this independent Swiss brand of which I'm a fan of. I've owned multiple Oris models over the years and I'm most excited not because I have a new Big Crown in hand uh, to play with but because this has a brand new in-house movement and I'm a movement fan. I know a lot of you that watch me you enjoy the specifications. You like the different technologies, the finishing of a caliber, the complications. You can geek out over that just like I do. So let's take a look at uh, the big points about this new release. And that uh, really comes down to the movement. So again, this is a new in-house hand wine caliber that is based off of the caliber 400. I have owned the 400 in an Aquas model, but this one is a bit different. We have a power reserve indicator, a complication that is displayed on the movement that you view through the reverse of the case. And I really like that. When you have 120 hours of power reserve or five days, it's nice to see how many days you have left. And that's easily done through the reverse of the watch. Now, I will say it takes a long time to hand wind and fully charge up the twin barrels of which you can kind of see part of them through these little arcs or cutouts here in the main plate. And notice that your blue power reserve indicator hand is set in an open work bridge. So that's uh, very sharp. The movement will have new finishing. I've always been a fan of the Caliber 400, the industrial matte finished look in the tool watches, right? In the divers, but this is more refined. It's fully brushed. And there is a very sharp englage work going throughout the bridges and plates. And I think that really takes it up to the next level. I think that's a great move. Changing up the finishing, again, uh, not just the power reserve complication, not just the specs, it's the way it's displayed. It's the way it's presented. Now let's talk about the specifications. I mentioned the power reserve, but this is also anti-magnetic to a threshold a very high threshold of 2,250 Gauss. And you will notice uh, a silicon escapement down there. I'll focus the camera in. This is also a chronometer certified caliber and carries a 10-year warranty or a 10-year service interval, which will be industry leading. And I, I mention that because when a brand debuts a new caliber, often you want to see that caliber be successful over a sustained amount of years you don't want to be the guinea pigs. You don't want to have, you know, problems develop with your brand new design with, you know, with that new in-house movement. And so you get the peace of mind here of having a full decade of a warranty. So that that's just a great move from Oris. And I look at this in-house caliber. I look at other Swiss brands that cost more. They charge more for their in-house movements that oftentimes don't have you know, the same level of specifications or sometimes even finishing that's displayed here in the new 473. And then I look at the price, $4,400 full retail for this big crown. And I really see where Oris is bringing the value. I recognize 4,000 is nothing to sneeze at. That's still a substantive amount of money for a lot of watch collectors. But considering the competition at a higher price segment, Considering this movement, the specs, the warranty, the power reserve, the finish, uh, I do see the value here. And I appreciate that as a watch collector. Now, there are a couple other new things here. Let's go through the other items of note. There is a butterfly style deployant, which is a new design for Oris, uh, in which you can adjust the length without tools. There are no little holes here found in the deer leather. So I like the fact that you can get an ideal fit. And if your wrist expands a little bit, it takes about 10 seconds and you can adjust this without the need of a tool. Uh, so that's a nice thing. We also have a pale blue, slightly muted dial color. It is definitely not turquoise. So don't say that this is a Tiffany, you know, a big crown pointer date. No, it's very pale blue and it looks sharp. There is a large signed thread down style crown. Uh, hence the name Big Crown. This is a Big Crown model with a pointer date complication that first debuted back in 1938. This is also traditionally sized, 38 millimeters in case diameter, 45.3 in overall lug to lug dimension with a height to the top of the domed sapphire crystal of 12.9. So it's not necessarily a thin caliber, but it is comfortable and proportional on wrist 
And I think if you enjoy more traditionally sized watches or if you have smaller wrists, you're going to enjoy the way this one fits. We also have sustainably sourced deer leather done by Servo Volante. There will be a quick release spring bar system here. And I think the tone works well with the muted blue. Uh, so visually, it's a sharp looking watch. Now, the things that I love, then we'll go through the things that I dislike. I love the brushed movement. I love the unglage. I love the specifications with the power reserve complication or indicator on the back of the watch. I like the thread down style crown. So that just locks the crown into position and I don't have to worry about water accidentally getting through into the movement if I leave or, or the crown pops out on accident. So thread down crown, independent brand, original design going back decades. I think there is a lot to enjoy here, but the things I dislike, there are a lot of reflections on this domed sapphire crystal. Hard to read in natural light, definitely hard to get the camera to focus in natural light. Uh, so that's something to be aware of. And the loom isn't very potent. It doesn't last very long. But other than that, I think it's a very solid design. It would be nice just from a personal uh, preference standpoint myself to see a slightly larger case uh, version of this in the future, maybe with a bracelet option. Uh, but that's just catering to my own subjective preferences. Reach out with questions. Thank you for watching today. I appreciate it. Links will be in the description. I'll see you in the next one.